Hi Libra, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is a love reading for all Libra placements. Let's go ahead and get started with a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. All right, this reading may not resonate with you. Feel free to check out your other placements here on the page. Also, I do not offer personal readings and I do not offer any services at this time. So if anybody is reaching out to you, they are impersonating me, trying to scam you out of money, please report and block them or just ignore them. I'm going to start with some channel messages and then we'll dive into the cards. The first message I heard for you is it's official. And I'm getting it could be multiple things. So we'll dive into that in a second. And then the second message I got was redemption. You're in your redemption era or there's some kind of redemption arc so something is going to be redeemed okay there's a redeeming quality okay especially if anything has been like dark down scary there's going to be some kind of redemption or there's going to be some kind of energy that comes in and redeems that is what i'm getting it's like a fresh start almost it feels like there's some kind of fresh start i picked up on fisher so this could be somebody's last name fisher or somebody could be a fisherman a fisher woman somebody likes to fish uh, you could be dealing with a pisces or you're going to be meeting a pisces i also got the name michelle and i spelled it with an s instead of a c i don't know if that's significant but michelle um, and then new job some of you are officially single it's official you're single it's official you're done with that person there could be a divorce that's finally clearing the divorce paperwork has gone through the court situation is done so you're officially single for some of you or you're officially together with somebody as in like somebody's making it public or somebody's making it official i'm getting like facebook official or something like that so somebody's like putting your name on their social media or somebody's showing you off on social media okay or somebody's just making it official with you okay but i got officially together and then i also got officer somebody could be a police officer or somebody could be in a very like official position some an officer of some sort i also got ceo chief executive officer somebody could be a ceo of a company i'm also picking up on military right now so somebody could be in the military army navy marines national guard air force etc and then i heard trains you could live near trains or you could be hearing trains as a sign okay but that's what I have for you in terms of like um, channel messages. I'm getting something about Blades. I'm hearing Blade, the movie with like the vampires and Wesley Snipes, I think. Maybe you just watch that movie or maybe you need to go watch that movie. I don't know, especially if you like vampires. Okay. And I'm also getting something about like razors or like a razor blade. Maybe you just shaved today shaved your face shaved your arms shaved your legs i don't know or you're going to okay i'm also hearing something about like a bath bomb or epsom salt okay i'm hearing old tv or cartoons you could be watching cartoons or watching old tv today or you really like cartoons or you really like like old tv i'm hearing seventh heaven I'm also getting Smallville, Supernatural. Okay. I'm hearing Small Town USA. You may live in a small town in the USA, or your person does. Or you may come from a small town in the USA. Okay. I'm seeing it could be snowing where some of you are, or there's a storm brewing. Some kind of snow is coming. Or there's some kind of rain. I'm also getting something about like cows. I'm getting something about like a cow is acting funny or a cat is acting funny. There's a storm coming. I'm hearing there's a storm coming that the weathermen couldn't predict. Okay, this could be literal or this could be figurative. I'm also getting a second wave. There's a second wave. You may live near the ocean. You could live in like, you could live on the coast of the east or west coast. I'm getting Australia, Brisbane specifically. I'm also getting something about the West Indies, Africa. You could live on like the east coast of the US. I'm getting like New York, Florida. I'm getting Miami specifically for some of you. And I was also hearing California. Okay. I'm getting a second wave, a redemption. 
for Libra, please. What does Libra need to know in love? You're pulling debilitated discomfort and you're pulling solar calm clarify. I'm getting something about like the calm before the storm. There's something uncomfortable coming up, but it's going to help you heal. So there may have been like, there may be something that's going on with you right now where your body feels uncomfortable or your mind feels uncomfortable. I'm getting something about ascension symptoms. You may be having like a runny nose or a cough or I don't know, being extra tired. I'm getting this is an ascension symptom. You're ascending. Okay. You could be born on the 16th or the 14th. Let's see where this is going. There's a calm before the storm. Spirit wants me to clarify that for you. I'm also getting that someone causes you a lot of discomfort or thinking about someone causes you a lot of discomfort. So you may want to focus on like Reiki or meditation or breathing exercises, anything to keep yourself calm. Spirit wants you to be calm and to be at ease at this time, to not cause any discomfort to yourself or to your body. Okay, where is this going for my Libra? This is a timeless reading, by the way. I am filming it on February 22nd, 2023, but whenever you decide to click on this is whenever it was meant to find you. What does Libra need to know in love? We're seeing acceptance and we're seeing winter. So for some of you, you're accepting that something is officially over and it's giving you a lot of peace actually, because I'm getting that for some of you, you've been going round and round in your head, trying to think, trying to wonder, see if this person's going to come back in, but you've just accepted the past for what it is. You've accepted that it's over. The winter time usually represents some kind of ending to me. Cheetah or leopard print could be significant as well. Okay, or a Leo or a Leo rising could be significant. Leo has been kind of like in all of the readings today and I don't know why. Maybe you guys are all dealing with Leo or there's something going on with Leo energy. The fifth house, which represents passion, creativity, romance, etc. I'm getting that some of you want to be loved and you're accepting that you want to be loved. You're finally accepting that you want a real love. You're finally accepting that you want a commitment, you want a relationship. Or for some of you are accepting that it's finally over. Right, this can go one of two ways. This can go multiple ways. Again, take it how it resonates to you, but for some of you, it's officially over or it's official, we're together. So I do see that divorce has happened or that divorce is coming, right? It's going to be completed. It's gonna be fine. There's going to be a settlement here. It may be discomforting, it may be uncomfortable right now, but it is helping you to heal. You could be 28 or born on the 28th as well. I'm also seeing 37, okay. So I'm getting that you're going, you're getting very close to a Saturn return for some of you. And Saturn returns bring a lot of discomfort. You may be going through your Saturn return right now. Saturn return usually happens around the age 28 to 30. Okay, give or take. And it causes a lot of discomfort because Saturn rules karma. Saturn rules lessons. So any lessons that you didn't learn or anything that you didn't heal is going to come back up so that you can deal with it now. So that you can accept it. So Spirit's just accepting, Spirit's asking you to accept yourself for where you are. Accept yourself as you are. I'm hearing you are beautiful just the way that you are. I'm hearing just the way you are by Bruno Mars. Just the way you are when you smile. There's not a thing that I would change cause you're amazing. Just the way you are. Accept yourself. Maybe you need to listen to that song, Just The Way You Are by Bruno Mars, or maybe you just did, okay? But some of you are accepting that the past is over, you're accepting that you're done with that person, it's giving you a lot of clarity, it's giving you a lot of calm, it's giving you a lot of peace, right? Or you're accepting that you guys are together. Some of you may be the ones who are making something official now. Whereas in the past you were like, I don't really know where this is going, and you just kept running around in your mind, but in reality you always wanted to commit to this person, you always wanted to be with this person is what I'm getting. So you're making it official this winter, or maybe you just made it official with somebody this winter. Okay. I'm also getting that some of you may be getting a, an acceptance letter or a letter of recommendation. I'm getting a new job for some of you. Maybe you were let go, or maybe you left a job, but I'm getting that you applied for a new one, or you're making your own job. 
you're becoming your own boss, your own entrepreneur. You're the CEO that I picked up on earlier for some of you. Spirit's accepting that. I'm getting you work for God now or you work for the universe now. I saw 1010. And 1010 came up in the Aries reading. So you may be dealing with an Aries. Or you may have Aries significantly in your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. I'm getting that there's been a lot of back and forth. I'm getting like ping pong. But now there's a decision. Now there's a clear decision. You're no longer going back and forth. You're accepting the past for what it was. Or you're accepting somebody into your life officially. Excuse me, I have to sneeze. <laughs> Thank you to those of you who said bless you. I appreciate you. I say bless me to myself. But sneezing usually confirms whatever you're speaking about. So what I'm speaking about is the truth, right? If you say something or you think something and then sneeze after, it's usually confirmation from the universe. But some of you may be getting over a cold or you may be getting over some kind of like sickness here because your body was discomfort. Or discomfort. Your body was in discomfort. Your body was uncomfortable is what I'm getting, but you are healing from that with Chiron here. You are healing. You may have Chiron in Aries or you may have Chiron in Libra if you know where that placement is in your chart. Okay. All right but I'm getting some kind of snowfall. You see the winter? There may be like one more big snowfall before winter is officially over, depending on where you live in the world. Okay. Getting something about Oregon, Portland could be significant. Okay. But this acceptance card says, accept the past, stay present, and have faith in the future. Let's see where your tarot messages take us for Libra. I'm hearing you really love this person. This person that you're making it official with, yeah, you chose them or they chose you. Yeah, their mind is made up. The Ace of Swords in the reverse as well. There's a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry here as well. I'm hearing fortune favors the brave. So maybe you're taking a chance on somebody and it's paying off for you. Or somebody's taking a chance on you and it's paying off for them. The Sun card. Look, there's Leo energy. There it is. So this person makes you very happy. Okay. And now we're seeing the Three of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, the Seven of Cups in the reverse, and the Tower, which has been kind of coming out for all of the signs today. Okay, so you may have had like an unexpected revelation um, or an unexpected epiphany, or somebody may have come back around and you didn't see this coming with the Emperor in Aries or a Scorpio, but you really want to be with them. There's something redeeming. Something's coming back up for some of you or you're letting someone go completely and you're like redeeming yourself like reclaiming your own power this reading is like split into two i'm getting so this could be about your twin flame i just heard some of you have a twin flame you're reconnecting with your twin flame or you're like letting your twin flame go because you don't have to be with any specific person this lifetime you have free will right I'm getting that some of you may be finding out that somebody is your twin flame. And that may be like really shocking to you. Okay. But there's a storm brewing. This three of wands, you know it. I feel like you can feel it. But it's going to make you very happy and it's going to provide a lot of peace and calm for you. So you're like dodging the tower is what it seems like. Literally. I feel like you're dodging some kind of tower or you're dodging some kind of bullet, metaphorically speaking. The tower's not hitting you. But I'm getting that there's a second wave. I was getting something about like a second wave of the pandemic or some kind of epidemic happening, but it's not happening to you because you are healthy or because you're not going outside or because it's just not missing you. I don't know, but that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that Saturn is favoring you. You're being protected by Saturn. You may have Saturn in Libra, or you could have Saturn in Leo, okay? But I'm getting something about like Saturn protecting you because you've been learning your lessons, because you've been uncomfortable enough. So they're letting you in on some kind of a secret. Like, yeah, there's a storm coming, but it's not going to affect you or something like that. Some of you may have lost some money or you may have lost a job, but I'm seeing that you're getting a new job and this new job is better for you. This is supposed to be a love reading, but I don't know. This is just what I'm picking up on. This new job is better for you. There's more money. It makes you feel more at ease. You feel accepted. 
you feel more calm this could be you going into business for yourself maybe you had to like invest in this and it may be costing you more money than you're making up front but you're creating something long term what's the ace of pentacles this could also be you getting that divorce or you like ending things with somebody because there is no commitment here this person didn't commit to you you didn't want to commit to them so it's over it's officially over we're not playing the mind games we're not playing the back and forth we're not running around doing that like we're done there's no commitment that's fine i'm gonna find something else somewhere else that's just what i'm getting some of you are fed up when it comes to love i can feel it i'm trying to like transmute that energy but i feel like love has been uncomfortable for a lot of you but you're healing i just keep needing to tell you that the uncomfortable energy is being healed the discomfort is being healed i don't know how but i know that it is and the sun usually represents like healing healthy positive energy as well and that's your first card so that's the strongest energy here okay what's the ace of pentacles in the reverse please the ten of cups so this is definitely something like you lost love or you let go of love because it wasn't really love or because it wasn't the love that you wanted i'm getting that you made a good decision the ten of cups to me means that you and this person were together you may have had kids with this person so yeah the divorce is being settled and you're accepting the past for what it is i feel like you've really grown from this situation i feel like you're much more mature now and now you're looking out into the universe into the world and seeing what else is out there for you sure there might be some challenges and obstacles that come up but you're willing to face them you're willing to go towards that because that's where your better life lives okay this also to me is like finally somebody's making it official after years of waiting after months of waiting somebody wants to make it official because they see the vision now they see that it's you the epiphany the tower card and the emperor regardless of your gender i just read energy but it's like somebody wants to settle down with you somebody wants the family somebody wants the home somebody wants to build with you now after they didn't in the past it's official now and the two of cups yeah so this is two different energies again some of you let go of love because it wasn't fulfilling because it caused a lot of discomfort because it put you out in the cold that's just what i'm getting from the energy you felt abandoned even if you were in this connection or there's somebody here who abandoned you and you're finally done with it you're finally over it. it's officially over you may have had love for them you may have seen the vision you may have seen the potential but it never came to be and now you're letting go of it for others of you this is somebody finally making it official with you because they do love you and because they recognize that you are like their soulmate they have mutual feelings for you they want to explore love with you there isn't anybody else for them right i'm getting pisces energy again so some of you are going to be meeting a new Pisces. Yeah, the world card here. Something is complete. But when one door closes, another door opens, right? What's the seven of cups in the reverse? Seven of cups in the reverse, please. Thank you. The ace of pentacles again. It's in the reverse, but I'm getting that you have the final say you can make the reading go however you want to go you can make life go however you want to go you have the decision here so we can keep looking at this ace of pentacles in the reverse as if we're never going to find love we're never going to have commitment we can keep thinking that we can keep creating that reality for ourselves but it's not real you know it's not real it's an illusion i'm getting that you will end up with somebody in this lifetime you will not be alone forever you will have the love that you want but you have to stay committed to that. And I'm also getting this new job is really good for you. <laughs> this new job is just really good for you. They really value your skills. They really appreciate you as a person. I'm getting that somebody may have gotten you this job or you're becoming your own boss and you're going to see results if you stick to it. You're going to see results within a year, for sure. The Ace of Pentacles is like a gift from the universe. It's abundance coming in from the universe here because you took the leap of faith. For some of you, divorcing that person was the best decision you ever made because they were blocking your blessings. Just because the universe wouldn't, wouldn't give you what it is that you wanted because 
you were refusing to admit to yourself that you were uncomfortable. Some of you, I don't want to dive into this too much because I'm just trying to help, but I just feel like for some of you, you cared too much about what your family thought. You cared too much about what your parents might think, what your siblings thought, what your aunts, uncles, grandparents thought. You cared too much about other people's opinions. And maybe you cared too much about what society would think. Maybe nobody actually said anything to you, but you just thought that somebody was going to like think, think something. But who cares what they think? It's not their life, it's your life. And people get divorced. Some people have three, four marriages in this lifetime. I'm not saying that's going to be you, but I'm just saying like it happens. There's nothing wrong with that. You will be married again. The Ace of Pentacles to me usually represents like an engagement or a ring or some kind of promise here. I'm getting that you're going to have everything that God has promised to you on this path if you stick to it, if you have faith in the future, right? And you accept the past for what it was. Bottom of this deck is the Eight of Pentacles, which talks about work. It talks about focus, so stay focused, keep working, keep working on your health, keep working on your fitness, keep working on your career. There's someone here who's very, very interested in you, or they will be, and I'm getting heavy Leo energy. So you may be meeting a new Leo, or you may be reconnecting with a Leo, or a Leo rising here. This person finds you very, like, interesting, and sexy, and determined, and motivated, and they really like something about you, or they really like a lot of things about you, is what I'm getting. Okay. But you may be really focused on this new career change for you, or this new job for you. And I'm also getting something about, like, documents. Somebody's making something official. Somebody could be like writing you into a will or somebody's writing your name down as like their emergency contact. I'm hearing that's how you know it's real. Somebody made you their emergency contact. Okay. All right, but then the devil card here is Saturn and Saturn is taking care of you. It may be uncomfortable, right, with the five of cups. It may be uncomfortable. It may have caused some disappointment. It may be sad that you lost that job, that you lost that relationship or something like that. But Saturn is saying this is your karma. You're going to receive everything that you have lost. You're going to regain everything that you have lost in some way, shape, or another. But Saturn is definitely looking out for you. I'm getting that you've dodged a bullet or you're like avoiding some kind of tower or the storm that's coming isn't going to affect you. Something like that. For Libra, please. If you did just make something official with somebody, it looks like it's going to be long term like a long-term commitment this person's very happy with you and you're very happy with them we're seeing message to pass on okay so i'm getting that some of you are going to receive a dream or you're going to receive a message from like an elder or a message from somebody who's like more wise than you or something like that Somebody's going to give you a message to pass on. Okay, whatever that means. You could be 42, and then we're seeing abundance, which is one. There is abundance here. That new job is going to be creating a lot of abundance for you. Or you becoming like the CEO, your own entrepreneur, running your own business is going to be very abundant for you. And I'm getting that this person who we're connecting to is going to be like, there's going to be so much love for you. But I'm getting that some of you are going to be focused on your singlehood right now because it's officially over. It's like you don't want to jump into anything new and I don't feel like there is anything new popping up for you right now. It's just you're going to be focused on work, focused on your health, focused on staying calm, focused on accepting things from the past and creating your own abundance because you are the abundance. And some of you may have children, so you may be affecting. You may be focusing on the children. And then we're seeing forgiveness. The children are not mad at you if you have children. The children are not mad about the divorce. The children saw it coming, to be completely honest with you. The children are here to support you. You are their source. You are their parent. They will always love you, even if it doesn't seem like it right now. But you may be focusing on the relationship you have with your children. And I'm getting forgive yourself. I'm also hearing forgive them for they know not what they've done. Whether you think they do or they don't. That's just what I'm hearing. Forgive them for they know not what they've done. You may be really connected to Jesus. I'm hearing Jesus. Some of you may be praying to Jesus or something like that. Okay, and then for those of you who are in this official connection, it feels like there's like an abundance of love. There's a lot of love here and it gives you a lot of peace, a lot of calm. And you're just really happy that finally it's official. Okay. 
Let's get some time frame cards for you for Libra. We're seeing less than a month, so somebody may be making something official in less than a month, or the divorce may be settled in less than a month, or less than a month could mean something else to you entirely. All right, we're seeing 48 hours. And Tuesday. Okay, I'm going to let you figure those out for yourself. That's what I have for you, Libra. Hope that it helped you. Sending you love always. Take care of your beautiful self. Stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.